This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this section, I'll be handling built-in exceptions. So a built-in exception is one of the exceptions that ships with the Oracle database. Oracle has many built-in exceptions. Some of the built-in exceptions are named exceptions like value error. If I bring up that code again so we can see what I'm talking about. So value error is a built-in exception. It's also a named exception. A named exception just has an easily readable name, in this case, value error. All exceptions have an error code also. And sticking with our value error, the exception code, the error code, is an ORA6502. So if I comment out my exception handler, I'll go ahead and run it. We see that we've got, this is our PL SQL numeric or value error, but it starts off with Aura 06502. You can get a list of, this is just a simple piece of code, you can get a list of the exceptions that are built in. I'm not going to go into real detail explaining how this works, but SQL ERM is a built-in that returns an error message. So what I'm doing is I'm looping through all of the SQL ERMs that don't say message not found and not an Oracle exception. So what I'm going to do is just display all the ones that are actually Oracle exceptions. Let's say view the DBMS output, clear that. And actually, we're going to get an exception because there's so many. So you can see Aura minus 4412, XE edition memory parameter invalid or not specified. 411, invalid for parameter instance type in XE edition. XE edition, single instance violation error. So you can see it just goes through and has many, 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 many exceptions. This code will be included in the working files for this training, so you can run this, play with it, go through and just look at the different exceptions. Now what I mentioned about getting an exception is because my DBMS output, I don't have it set to an unlimited amount, it hit the buffer overflow of 20,000. It just wasn't able to show all the text because there were so many exceptions. Don't really worry about that in your system when you set server output on, set it to unlimited. Another way to do this actually is to take your SQL ARM, and actually this is a good exercise for you at home, take the SQL ARM, create a table of varchar2 2001, and take the SQL ARM and insert it into that table, and then you can select from the table all of your error codes and see them without worrying about the DBMS output. You can select it just like any other SQL. So that's a good exercise for you at home. This listing that I have here is all of the predefined exceptions. So if you want to know all of the predefined named exceptions like value error and when no data found, I have another little query that will be in the working files. And we actually saw something like this in one of the earlier chapters. In this case, it's just a select and I'm selecting from the package standard. If you remember from, I forget if it's chapter two, chapter three, standard is a built-in package from Oracle. It's basically included in every call you make. So Oracle will always look in standard if you reference something, it'll look in standard to see if it's there. It's the standard call. All of your basic functions and data types and things like that are defined in standard. So in this case, I'm saying just show me the parts of standard that include exception. So I can see I've got a cursor already open, and it relates the name to the number. I have a dupe val on index, timeout on resource, invalid cursor, not logged in. A pragma exception init just assigns a name to a number. So uh, not logged on is an exception. They've declared not logged on as an exception. And they say anytime you see this number, minus 1012, treat it as not logged on. So you can refer to minus 1012 as not logged on, just like our value error. So remember we said 6502, minus 6502 was the error code. So we're saying with value error is an exception, give it a name. What number is tied to that name is the pragma exception init has a 6502. So that's it for the predefined. There's thousands of them. Next, we're going to get into raising your own exceptions.